Hello everybody! Welcome to another Bronze Age Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning all about surviving in the plains with Bronze Age gear. This isn't going to be for the faint of heart. If you don't take the things that I tell you in this video seriously, you're going to die a lot. When it comes to the planes and Bronze Age gear, the odds are really stacked against you. So hear me out, okay? And stick around to the end because I'll share one important strategy that you can learn that'll keep you alive even in the Bronze Age. Before that though, it's time for some reconnaissance. You need some intel so you know what to watch out for. I'll start by introducing you to some of the most threatening aspects of the planes. Because once you know these, like the back of your hand, you'll be able to stay alive like a pro. Oh, have mercy. If there's an immediate threat of the planes, it's these bad boys. Oof, they really make quick work of you. To have any chance at all of survival, you'll need to have as much food as possible. Never go into the planes without a bow and arrow, or at least a knife and a shield. You're going to need that shield because it'll guarantee that you can get that knife hit in. But honestly, it's already too late for this character. I may be able to survive a few attacks, but at this point, it's only my luck that would allow me to stay alive. Oh, that usually doesn't work out, and you're often going to die. Don't let yourself get to that point. For now, we'll move on to the next threat. Although this one's kind of a half threat. These adorable creatures might look peaceful, but you really want to give them their distance because if you get too close to them and you aggro them, it's really too late. Don't even bother fighting these locks. You do not want to engage with them in melee combat. They're going to kill you or get you killed by goblins. I swear. Because now we're breaking the rule. We're running. You don't want to run in the plains. That's how you die. Really, there's only one thing to do in this scenario. Your imminent death is chasing you, whether it's locks or death skeeto or whatever. You gotta use the master trick, and that's the rock. You gotta run, jump up here, and then boom. Whether it's a death skeeto or a locks, you'll get time you need to get your attack in or escape and heal up. You can see that I can kite this locks now, and that'll allow me to escape. All I have to do is lure him up here, and then when he attacks, I run away. I'm gonna aggro this goblin, but it's okay, because knives are amazing. And it looks like we got away from the locks. We really don't want to run, so we're just going to hide here and then chill out. And eventually the locks will go back. Don't fight the locks. Trust me. But realistically, the locks are quite easy to avoid. Just don't get close to them. They have really bad senses, so they won't come and get you from far away. Unlike the goblins, the real next threat. Often, there'll be packs roaming around the plains. But what packs of goblins, you say? Ah, that's right. The goblins are one of the easiest things to sneak up on you. At nighttime, the goblins are a lot more obvious if they're fire goblins. Often, one fire goblin will reveal his whole pack of buddies. At this point, it's really too late for me. I mean, I'm venturing out at night in the plains and I'm cold. Ugh, it's, it's nasty. But this here is the classic goblin encounter. You'll usually just find one or two goblins. They'll either be melee or ranged. They'll aggro you pretty quickly because goblins have really good senses. Unfortunately for me, this is a two-star fueling, which totally changes the situation. You really shouldn't even fight these, especially at night. I guarantee if I try and fight this, I'll just die. I'll run into something, spawn some nonsense, and die. Oh, look at that. I've already found more nonsense. At this point, it's very obvious that the situation is going to continue to escalate, and I need to fix it. Oh gosh, now there's four. What is happening? Where are they coming from? Five? Okay, as you can see, I need immediate evac, so... We need to go run off and find our salvation. The only real chance you have at this point is either getting a wolf event, which saves the day, or finding a big rock like this. Big rocks like this are pretty hit or miss. It looks like I got really lucky and I found a rock that the goblins can't actually get up on. But sometimes you're not so lucky and the goblins just come up here and kill you. But these tall rocks, they'll keep you safe. And if you're really in a pinch, and I mean, you've already aggroed all these monsters anyway, you may as well make the rock more hospitable. This way you can actually be safe from enemies. You can make a bed here or a portal. Just dig down until you hit the ground and make sure that you don't reveal anything off to the sides. This way there's just one or two entrances up top and then the monsters will cackle mysteriously while you're in your little safe place. But this strategy isn't foolproof, so you need to be quite careful. Deskidos can still find their way in. And monsters like Lox are so destructive that they will eventually destroy this whole place. You can motivate a Lox to get out of the way as long as you are not within its range and you keep shooting it with the arrows. Eventually the Lox will run away because if they can't reach you, 
They tend to just attack once or twice and then run off into the distance. As you can see, it's pretty simple, just avoid their ranged attacks, but the goblins will do the same thing. Eventually they'll just run off because they're tired of being shot without being able to land any hits on you. And I don't know what happened to that two-star goblin. It looks like they've run off, which works very well for me because I have no intention of fighting one of those. And this brings us to our next point, yourself. Believe it or not, you're actually one of your own biggest threats in the plains. Your own impatience, and your viking's proximity to loudly smash pickaxes into rocks, alerting every enemy in the biome, will often lead to your premature demise. So keep that in mind, you're also one of the biggest monsters in the game. But there's one other threat I feel like I should probably warn you about. And that's why I told you about this stone base strategy. This isn't even the grand strategy to keep you alive. This is basically just one way that you can survive. Let's say you went a bit too far, and you killed Bone Mass and got a wishbone. Now you've unleashed a whole new kind of hell. Both in the mountains and in the plains, you can trigger the only event in the game that can happen outside of your base, when you're out alone in the wild. I'm lucky here, because I already showed you the only way that you can survive. Ah! But these wolves can climb so it won't be long before they meet your demise. Your only hope here is that there's something to distract the wolves for long enough that you can get away. And it's not looking good here. Oh, I re-triggered the event. Oh god, they're gonna get me. Oh, but with luck and enough dodges, eventually you'll get far enough away that the wolves will start to thin out and you'll die from something else. But don't worry, you'll be avenged. But now that we're back here, let's talk about some general rules of thumb that'll help you stay alive even better in the Bronze Age and the Plains. Try and make a lot of the best health food that you can. I recommend deer stew, cooked deer meat, and then some mincemeat sauce too. Yeah, you won't have much stamina. Patience is the only way you'll stay alive in the Plains and the Bronze Age. Don't go into the Plains naked, no matter what you do. Always bring a knife with you. But even just a knife that's probably not enough, you'll need a bow and plenty of arrows as well. This would be nowhere near enough. You'd need to fill a whole chest up with fire arrows because you don't do that much damage. You're gonna have to shoot them a lot. That's why I showed you that great spot on the rock. The bone tower shield is also quite worth making. It's strong enough that even if your block is low, you'll probably survive a death skeeto attack or two. And that's really the main point here. You can't really outrun those, so always bring a counter to the death Skeeto. Otherwise, you're just gonna die off in the plains. So here's a quick refresher on everything you should do. Make sure to have good food and be rested and walk slowly. Scan the horizon and see the threats that are there. Focus on aggroing one enemy at a time and use their weaknesses against them. The dagger is all you need to take out most goblins in the game that aren't two-starred but always be wary because they hit really hard. And here's something else, you see this big rock? Well now I have no visibility and that means I'm dead. It's only a matter of time before you run into something unexpected and then your life will end up redirected. If you want to live in the plains, you'll have to keep your visibility high. Avoid big rocks and trees and even hills like these. All right, I can't really keep that rhyming game up. The next part of the video will teach you how to kill individual goblins with the Abyssal Dagger, and then you'll learn how to kill locks with patience and lots of fire arrows. I see a good target over there, and of course, you might want to shoot him with your bow, but I'll leave that joy to you. Oh! <laughs> well, now I'm back with a vengeance. That's our true target, that goblin over there. Let's get his attention and have him come here. In general, you want the enemies to come to you. It makes it easier to stay alive. Goblin are particularly weak in shallow water. They move very slowly and are much easier to manage. So you can take advantage of that vulnerability. You see, the goblin is weak against pierce damage. And you can get the Abyssal Dagger to level 3 in the Bronze Age. Which gives you some pretty solid slash and pierce. Oh, But that's not even the whole picture. The dagger has many, many other uses. The dagger is the fastest attacking weapon in the game, allowing you to attack right after the moment of weakness. And once you get that stagger in, 
that's really all that you need because the next attack by the dagger does six times the damage it normally would thanks to the backstab bonus being much higher than normal. So when you're fighting with the dagger, you have to remember it's really all about that final stagger. That'll get the enemy stuck and stunned and then you'll do tons of damage and they'll probably die. Only fight one at a time. This won't work if you fight a whole pack or more. Separate them and fight them alone. It's the only way you're going to do this reliably in the Bronze Age. And now it's time to go hunt some locks, but for that we'll have to prepare. There's two things you'll need to get ready for the locks. Lots and lots of fire arrows really take more than you need. Grab two bows or more. And that's really all you need because the last part is just about timing. Don't go fight locks just when you feel like it randomly. Make sure to rest up and do it first thing in the morning. That way you'll start the day off early. You'll be needing a new rock. Something like this is perfect. Once you've found your rock, make sure that it's peaceful. You see that mosquito right there? You want to make sure you take care of any stragglers that are nearby. Otherwise, they're going to catch you unaware. Once you've cleared the immediate area, you're ready to start pulling a loxon. The main lesson here is to be patient, like the goblins, only do it one at a time. Some rocks are half rocks like these. A half rock is a rock that an enemy can jump up onto, but don't be dismissed because these are still useful. As you can see, I can jump up and then attack the enemy while they're pathing back here, and then jump off and repeat the process as they come down. But what you really need is a full rock like this. When the enemies can't get you, they'll run away when you're up here. So then you can shoot them, but from the ground back here. And soon they'll come running right back to you. Have no fear. And this is all you need to do, assuming that the way is clear. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So now I'll show you the strategy that really ices the cake. Oh god, I'm being hunted already? It's already too late for that Viking, he's dead. He didn't know the one thing he needed to remember. Always attack first. It's the main lesson that you need. When you die in the plains, it's because you got caught off guard. You ran too far in and found something you didn't know was there. So take your time. Scout the horizon and make sure you know everything that's there. Because if you just run in blindly, the fate that awaits you is something far worse than just death. Consider checking out a dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way to play Valheim with your friends. Just use my link, JP Valheim. Ah, oh, it was out of frame. I was so close. You see that? It was just a tiny bit out of frame. Ugh. Thanks for watching, guys.